Welcome to Rev Reads. This is my 100th video book review. And to celebrate my 100th review, I thought there was nothing better that I could do than to have two guest reviewers. And so I got my two favorite guys to come on and review a book with me. I got my son Elias and my son Isaac. Together, we recently read The Swiss Family Robinson by Johann Weiss. And Elias is going to tell you what The Swiss Family Robinson was about. So, first, they got in a shipwreck and then they uh, washed up on, on a deserted island. So then they had to figure out how to live on that deserted island. And after seeing the movie and going to Disney World, one of the things I thought about the Swiss Family Robinson was that they lived in a treehouse the whole time. But it turns out they didn't spend a whole lot of time in the treehouse in the book. Isaac, what did they live in on the island, actually? First off, they, they made a hut on the beach. And then they moved to a treehouse, which is called the crow's nest and then most of their time spent on the island was in their rock house and and how did they find their rock house what was that so they were looking for a place in the winter to stay because in the winter there it was really rainy and then they stumbled upon a cave and then they made it their rock house. And they actually lived in the rock house a lot more than they lived in the tree house, which I didn't expect at all. But I guess if you're Disney, the tree house probably looks a whole lot cooler than the cave that they would have lived in. One of the things I thought most interesting about the Swiss Family Robinson was how the book came about. It actually came about because Johann Weiss told his children, one of whom was his son, Johann Jr., uh, stories every day about a deserted island family in order to teach them about animals. And so there are a lot of animals in this book, which leads to probably the most controversial part of the book, which is while they loved a lot of the animals at the same time, because they're on a deserted island and they need to survive, they killed a lot of the animals. There was a lot of hunting going on in the book and disposing of animals just because they didn't want to be eaten by the animals. And some people are bothered by how many animals die in this book. So, Isaac, why don't you tell me your favorite part of the book where there was hunting in it? So, my favorite part of the book is where they killed this bull, but there was a problem. They couldn't carry the bull. So, they had a couple of their animals. They made this uh, little cart that could pull the bull, and then they hooked it up to their animals, and they pulled the bull back to the crow's nest. And what was your favorite part when they had an animal that um, they made use of? When uh, uh, they found a whale, it washed up on shore, and then they had to kill it for all uh, uh, the use of the things uh, that are in a whale. So they had a whale that washed to shore, and they were able to use all different parts of that animal for so many various uses, from the oil to the bones to the meat. It kind of reminded me in the way that they built contraptions to move the bull around, the way they took advantage of the whale, of the book The Martian by Andy Weir, uh, just the way they were able to be sort of MacGyvers out there in the woods and t in, the, in the deserted island and take advantage of every single thing that was around them. The other cool thing outside of the hunting expeditions with regard to the animals were all the pets that they had. They had so many pets, which is probably part of the reason my daughter Naomi loved it so much. So what was your favorite Swiss Family Robinson pet, Isaac? So there are a lot of pets, but my favorite has to be their donkey. There are eagles. They have bulls. They have so many different pets. But your favorite was the donkey? Yes. Elias, what was your favorite animal in the book? It was... It has to be the falcon. I agree. I also thought that the falcon was the coolest pet that they had, with the ostrich that they rode probably taking second place behind the falcon. Uh, those are probably my favorite two of the animals. But I think Swiss Family Robinson was a great book. I think it is a wonderful read to read together as a family. Uh, one of the things that was just so enjoyable about it was to see this core family unit working together, striving against really insane odds at times and throughout the whole time. 
And one of the cool things is that throughout the whole time, you see a family who is just bathing everything in prayer and coming before God and trusting him to lead them throughout their journey. So we really enjoyed Swiss Family Robinson. I was a little nervous starting it that maybe the kids would get a little bored with the book because it's kind of old and uh, it might not be as exciting as other books for kids that are out there. But after we got into it every night, the kids were excited to start reading Swiss Family Robinson again and see what was in the book and see what would come up next. So you guys have anything else to say? What would you think? Uh, Is it a book you would recommend or say that you should skip? Yeah, so I think you should read it if you can. It's a really good book, so I do recommend the book. What about you, Elias? How do you feel about Swiss Family Robinson? I recommend you would uh, read the book if you aren't comfortable about it. Uh, you shouldn't read it. <laughs> So there it is. It from three Wilson men. We recommend the Swiss Family Robinson by Johann Weiss. If you need something to read together as a family, I think this is an ideal family read. And if you enjoyed this review and you want to stay engaged in the wonderful world of Christian literature, I'd encourage you to subscribe to the Rev Reads YouTube channel.